possible failure point emerges in Miami building collapse. Some engineers looking at the failure of the 13-story condo tower in Florida said the collapse appeared to have begun somewhere near the bottom of the building. Now, this is very suspect because we all know that controlled demolitions occur at the bottom of the building. You begin there. If you can set off a cat catastrophic sequence of events, it will happen. The investigation into what may be the deadliest accidental building collapse in American history, let's highlight accidental, has just begun. But experts who have examined the video footage of the disaster outside Miami are focusing on a spot in the lowest part of the condominium complex, possibly in or below the underground parking garage, where we know that's where you set off packages to topple buildings. And this has been going on in New York for decades as they've tried to blow up, well, many buildings in New York. Called a progressive collapse, the gradual spread of failures could have occurred for a variety of reasons. And all you need to do is set off the first boom. Now here is the sequence of the collapse. The center of the building appears to collapse first, which we can see in the video. Then the north wall here, the back wall, seconds later. And then three or four seconds later, the entire eastern parking garage falls. And it is quite spectacular and gets us demonetized each and every time we share it. So let's just do this for you for our homework and see if we can pull up the cosmic collapse video. Mostly we're doing this as a test to see if we do de get demonetized. So bear with us as we run the test. Did you hear about the Portland heat wave? Whew. It was. All right. So let's get back here. So first you can see the center collapse and then the back wall is still there and it comes down later because that's a facade wall. Now this is just teetering because it's engineered to be connected and tilting. So just the weight of the concrete there is going to bring that down. But all you would need is a few small controlled demolitions here in the center to set off the cascade effect of this collapse. And just, you just need a few small demolitions in the middle. Once that comes down, the back will collapse. This section will collapse. And you were also hoping for the other section to collapse. But it's far away from the ocean and the sediment that it might have held up because of its connection to other infrastructure. Anyone's guess why that section survived? Once again, we're going to watch it. Now, just the pressure of the collapse of these tens of thousands of tons of concrete would have blown out anyone's eardrums and probably killed them immediately. So the good news is that the fatalities that happened on this day were very rapid. And that is the only possible failure point emerges in Miami building collapse. That's the only good news that we can have from this event. Hope you got something out of the video. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe.